The PBA Tournament of Champions is once again on the horizon. 2023's edition will commence on the 12th of March, with the finals being shown live on Fox on the 19th of March. So today we're going to look at some of the players who will be strong contenders to take home the second major of 2023. I've put together a list of five players who I predict will have a deep run in the 2023 Tournament of Champions, and at the end of this list, I will choose my pick to win the title. All of these players make strong cases for taking home the trophy, either through their current form or their previous performances at this event. Just a quick note that this video was recorded on the 4th of March 2023, and as the PTQ does not take place until March 13th, these predictions are solely based off the current roster of bowlers for the Tournament of Champions that is currently available on PBA.com. So without further ado, let's begin with this list that's in no particular order. Number 1. Dom Barrett The Englishman Dom Barrett has been on a bit of a tear as of late. He's had back-to-back -back second place finishes at the Shawnee and Wichita Classic. You have to say that he was quite unlucky not to win at least one of these events, but unfortunately for Dom, he just happened to run in two bowlers who performed extremely well in Anthony Simonson and EJ Tackett. He's clearly bowling as well as anybody on the tour right now, and his confidence is going to be sky high. Based on his current form, and the fact that he actually won this event last year beating Chris Prather, he's certainly going to be one of the heavy favourites to win this event again. The only thing that might work against Dom is the fact that only two bowlers have ever won the TOC twice in a row. Jason Belmonte and of course Jason Couch who completed the three-peat in the early 2000s. With Dom's current form however, he certainly has a chance to become the third player to win back-to-back -back TOC titles. Number 2. Anthony Simonson Simonson is another player who's had an excellent start to the year, having won the Wichita Classic in February, beating Don Barrett in the final. He also finished third at the US Open and a respectable seventh place at the Shawnee Classic. Simonson is so dangerous when it comes to the majors that he's always going to be one of the favourites, and with his current form, he has a real shot to take this one down. Not only is he the youngest player in history to win a PBA Major Championship, but he's now the youngest player to own four major PBA Tour titles. Bear in mind that he's just 26 years of age. He would have been disappointed with his performance on TV at the US Open, and will be determined to bounce back. I'd be prepared to bet a tidy sum that at the very least he'll make the TV Finals. Number 3. Jason Belmonte Belmo hasn't had the best starts to 2023. He struggled in the first few events, but did have a better performance at the beginning of February at the Springfield Classic, finishing in 7th place. But of course, he'll be expecting to not only add to his PBA title collection, but to bag another major too. He already has 14 major wins, easily placing him at the top of the all-time list. And despite this recent dip in form, it would still be foolish to write Belmonte off. There's no doubt that he has his eyes set on major number 15 at this year's TOC. He's a three-time winner of this event and finished runner-up once as well, so you can't discount him from the conversation of title contenders. With a talent like Belmonte, you just never know when he's going to click into gear and dominate the competition. Perhaps this year's TOC will be the event that sparks his season into life. Number 4. Bill O'Neill Bill O'Neill always seems to be extremely consistent and just finds a way to put himself in the mix in tournaments like these. Compared to the other players on this list, he would probably be considered a bit of a dark horse to win the title, but do not sleep on the real deal. He's never won the TOC, but he did finish runner-up in 2020. And aside from this, his results in this event have been excellent in recent years. For example, in 2019 he finished 14th. As mentioned, he was runner-up in 2020. In 2021, he finished 10th. And in 2022, he finished 19th. That's an extremely consistent set of performances. And I'd be pretty confident that he will certainly be in contention again this year. 
The question is whether he's able to take the leap once again this year to make the GB finals. And bear in mind that he's also a two-time major winner, having won the 2009-2010 Lumber Liquidators US Open and the 2020 PBA Players Championship. So this guy certainly knows how to get it done in the major events. Number five, EJ Tackett. With EJ Tackett's recent performances, it feels like he's becoming a little bit like Tiger Woods, where he's almost automatically the favorite to win pretty much every major event. What's most impressive to me is not that he keeps winning these tournaments, it's that he's literally blowing away the entire field in qualifying by leading them by 200, sometimes even 300 pins. When somebody is that far ahead of the competition, there's no doubt that they deserve to win the title. And clearly Tackett has been doing something right as of late. What is interesting, however, is that both times after he won a title this year, he's had a dreadful performance at the following tournament. It's understandable after the US Open win that the emotions would have been so high that a hangover at the next tournament was pretty inevitable, so you can't exactly blame EJ. But the same thing happened after he won the Shawnee Classic. The following week at the Wichita Classic, he was fourth from last after the first round of qualifying, although he did manage to pull it back during rounds two and three, but ultimately missed the qualifying cut, finishing 25th. So there are some small signs of a little bit of inconsistency, but this wouldn't worry me too much, to be honest. EJ has been so good so far that I'm sure he's going to be in contention throughout the tournament. And finally, an honourable mention, Sean Rash. It would be quite easy to overlook Sean Rash, as I'm sure many fans would pick players such as Belmo, Carl Troop, Simonson, Chris Prather, etc, etc, to win the TOC. Being chosen as an honourable mention might be a little bit harsh just based on his previous TOC results. However, there is a reason that he is an honourable mention, which we will discuss shortly. In the previous two years, he has made the TV telecast finishing fourth both times, and he had a ninth place finish in 2019. Clearly, Rash enjoys this tournament, and he has actually won this event once before in 2012, where he beat Ryan Simonelli. However, the big case against Rash is the fact that he announced he has been diagnosed with a degenerative disc disease. However, he said he still wants to continue bowling as much as treatment options would allow. He has played in a number of PBA events in 2023 despite this diagnosis, but clearly he has been struggling as he failed to even make a cut so far. Obviously, this is going to severely hurt Rash's chances at winning this event, but I still think he deserved to be on this list as an honourable mention, because if he can find something, he certainly has the ability to build on his back-to-back -back results of fourth place in the last two years. So out of these bowlers, who is my pick to win? This is a really difficult one because you can make extremely strong cases for all of these players and even some other players that are not on this list too. It was very difficult whittling this list down to five because this tournament really does feel wide open. But if I had to pick a winner, I'd go for Anthony Simonson. This kid is just so proficient in the majors. As mentioned, he's already won four major titles at only 26 years of age. He's won the USBC Masters twice, the PBA Players Championship and the US Open, but he's yet to capture a Tournament of Champions title. I'm going to go out on a limb and bet that by the end of this year's event, he will have added to his major tally. So that brings us to an end on today's prediction video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Who do you think will win the Tournament of Champions this year? Let me know your pick in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you bowling fans and see you all next time.